my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise at all. Alright guys, so this is the resource that we are going to use. Just this image and we are also going to use about four different fonts. I'm going to leave a link to all these in the descriptions for you to use. So let's jump into Photoshop. Control N. Let's use inches because I want to print it and I need a real measurement 14 here and then 28 here and then the resolution we set it to 300 and then make sure it's in um, CYMK color because we are going to print it and then click on create let's start by setting our rulers just in case you don't have your rulers control R will bring them up okay and then if you want to also hide your rulers control H will hide them for you Control H will bring them up for you. So let's rule them. Make sure this one is also in the middle. Pull this one here. Pull that one here. Then pull this one somewhere in the middle as well. All right. So we'll start by bringing our image in there. And then let's rotate it. Okay. Okay, somehow good let's see uh, okay I don't want it to exceed this <laughs> so probably have to reduce it a little bit okay let's see give it a mask and then delete the excess okay to do that make sure here is set to black use your brush and then you paint the mask so we have this this but always remember we can come back and then um we work on it again let's uh, let's go to flip vertical and then hold shift and then drag it down also let's put it somewhere here uh we'll like it somewhere here okay this one is also somehow good okay let's see click the background here click on this to create a new layer and then let's click on our brush and then um, let's come here and set our color to F set to F To this color click on ok and then just paint down here let's just paint somewhere down here okay let's come back up here let's change the color to okay then also create a, a new layer then let's paint there as well paint that awesome so this is how it looks like and this is great simple and 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 and, and beautiful right so let's put this in a folder and let's Call it BG. Nice. Uh, let's start with our text, and with that, I'll click on our text to click there, and then um, let's pick, let's pick this, paste it there. Now let's work on it a little bit. All right. So let's set the size to somewhere around. 35 now so we want to set the font to vivaldi um, vivaldi like i said earlier on i'm going to leave a link to all these in the description for you to use and also let's set the leading to um let's say 44 would do 44 would do sorry 
44 will do and then the tracking let's do the tracking at 30 tracking at 30 all right last time let's change the color let's set the color to okay and then we are done let's zoom in a little bit so as you can see we just want to align it that's why we put our rulers at the first place let's create another text let's also type in here make sure the font is um, chopping script chopping script let's set the size to 54 and then also let's make sure the tracking is 30 and then let's change the color here to 6 all right click on ok let's push it somewhere here ctrl j to duplicate it move it here a little bit and then let's just type um, s now we want want it to be capital letters right let's duplicate it again and then this let's make it end then uh, we use the size a little bit okay so let's zoom in for this so i can see the details we also want to change the end the font of end to arial this way and then let's make it italics so we can really see it Let's also make sure the font is somewhere around um, 23 and uh, everything looks good like this. Push it here a little bit. And then push the S here a little bit. Nice. Let's put all this in a folder and let's name it. Let's zoom out. Let's bring this one down. Let's bring this down. And let's move these three up. Let's see. Okay. This looks good. Up a little bit. Okay, now let's start with the details together with the families and let's just paste it over there with this we want to use Arial for the font Arial and then we also want to set the size to 37 and then make sure the tracking is 10 also ctrl T to transform it let's push it to the middle let's zoom in a little bit Ctrl J, bring it down a little bit. Let's pick this one, paste it, and come down a little bit like this. Duplicate. And then paste it there to send it up a little bit. All right, let's duplicate it. Bring it down and then still copy this. Double click here, and then paste. I just want to come down for this. Let's make sure the size is 37 as usual. And then the leading is 46. I also want to make sure the tracking is 10 and then this is the color all right so with this let's push it up a little bit let's see how it's turning out awesome let's put it all in a folder and then let's name it all right so at least we will know it's together with the right okay Let's duplicate to witness and let's send it up. Close this. 
Let's drag it down a little bit. Alright. Let's pick Nicholas. Double click it and then paste it Nicholas. We are going to use chopping script font for Nicholas. Also you want to set the size to 62 so that could be a little bit visible and then also make sure the leading is 10 and then let's change font color to let's zoom in make sure this is centered awesome centered nicely Control J to duplicate Nicholas. Let's pick the surname of Nicholas. And just paste it in there. Then let's use Sitka font for him. Also, let's change the size to 48 as well. And make sure the tracking is still 10. Also centered. Duplicate both and then drag it down. And then Nicholas, let's change Nicholas' name to Sandra. Sandra. And then let's pick the surname of Sandra. And paste it there. Okay. Let's duplicate Ewenam. Send it up and then let's type end. Let's make sure the end is chopping script. Also, make sure the size, make sure the size is 38, and then the leading is also 10 as usual. With the surname, we'll do some more. The surname, this one. Go here. Let's choose small bold, and then let's pick the oh, them as well. Let's choose small bold as well. Let's make sure Sandra goes up a little bit. Also, make sure Nicholas goes up a little bit, and then with the end, let's pick. Our ellipse to hold hold shift and then release it. Click on the fill color and then type in this code. All right. Now let's pick it and let's put it somewhere in the middle. Make sure it is centered. Let's reduce it. Change the end, the color to white. And then let's put the end on top of the ellipse. Let's push it there. Reduce the size. Let's fix it somewhere in the middle there. Remember, we can always um, make some corrections. To it if you want to and then let's name this one name all right let's bring our lower details as well let's pick the whole of this let's change the color to Okay, let's change the font to Arial. Also, we want to change the size to 37. And then also make sure that the tracking is 10 as well. Then let's center this. Pick this. Duplicate that one, pull it down, and then let's change 
the color to that let's put this in the folder and let's name it <laughs> down all right so let's also click all of them we're excluding the background let's make sure it is centered nicely okay so ladies and gentlemen this is how you design this kind of flyers i have some affiliate links down there if you're somebody who likes to work on the internet like to purchase stuff and then you need a virtual card you don't need a hard cop card you just need a virtual card to do your transactions i have a link down there for you you can click on it and then you'll get um, one for free if you also have a youtube channel you want to grow i have a resource down there that you can use to grow your channel you can use the free version if you want to or you can upgrade it i love you all guys please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon don't forget to comment and give me suggestions as well i love you all peace out